up, Benny? How are you doing? I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're doing better than all right. Okay, so I'm coming to you because one of the things that I'm doing is this is a prop. I'm drinking this apple cider vinegar in water. That's why my water is cloudy. I'm going to take a swig. I'm take a swig. Ooh, that's more than a swig. I'm a part of a apple cider vinegar challenge. Not really a challenge other than, I, I would say it's not a challenge other than it's a challenge um, against yourself, you know, to strive to be better. And um, me and some other ladies are partaking in this challenge for ourselves for the purpose of weight loss, weight reduction, okay? Even though apple cider vinegar, I suggest that you look at a variety of videos out there. There's so much information out there on apple cider vinegar and what it does for you. There's billions of videos and, you know, things to read, articles, books. You know, it's good for the intestinal tract. Uh, helps to clear your skin, helps women with um, bacterial infections or yeast infections, helps with that. Um, but for, for the sake of this, I am taking it for the purpose of weight loss. I have a trip coming up, and it was six to five weeks when I first started this, and now I'm down to only three more weeks left. My hair is like, is that the hair or like creepy crawly behind me. Um, I have about three weeks left and well, I'm not playing around. So I just wanted you to see, this is, this is what I got. This jug, this is where I've, this is where, what I drank so far. Um, of course, along with water and, um, I drink, I take two tablespoons, two tablespoons. No, it's about a, a tablespoon and a half in a bottle of water three times per day. And then I try to drink water, more water in between there during the day. But it's kind of difficult. You got things to do. You can't just keep going to the bathroom all day because it will make you go to the bathroom. So um, I can't keep doing that all day. I mean, you know, you should. It's nice and healthy, but ain't nobody got time for that. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And today I really wanted to talk about confidence. And I just thought that that would be the perfect, you know, intro um, to my topic of confidence. Particularly, I'm speaking to women and confidence because I know that with, um, with confidence, I should say women, sometimes women don't have it. Sometimes they don't have the confidence. Sometimes they pretend that they have confidence and they really don't. Sometimes they want it. Sometimes they fake it. And sometimes they just doggone confident in themselves. You know? Feeling good about themselves. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'll be feeling myself, I don't know, give it a couple of months. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to work out to go along with this apple cider vinegar. Really trying to get two to three days in. Um, working out should be more than two absolutely should be more than two times per week but sometimes I just don't feel like it how about that you know but as my energy and my strength builds up um the exercise increases you know so like what's today today's Thursday um I worked out twice this week probably want to work out a little bit later on you know uh, and probably chill tomorrow probably what I'm going to do. So I wanted to talk about confidence and how to build it. Just for those who might not know. Start off with a journal. I always say a journal because I keep one. It's, it's really good to write down and track a record of what it is that you want to do for yourself. So start with a journal and write out the things that you want to do for yourself. 
you know? And you can you can come up with all kinds of stuff. You know, I want I want a car. I want smooth skin. I want to look a certain type of way. You know, I want to I want to lose weight. I want to gain weight. I want nice clothes. I want a decent car. I want a good relationship. Whatever you feel would help you to feel better about yourself, work on those things. And work on them gradually. I would recommend that you work on them gradually because when you try to work on all of those things that you want at one time, that thing gets so overwhelming and you may just stop them all or you may stop most of them or you may try to kill yourself and do all of them at the same time and nothing is mastered and the outcome is you still don't feel confident in yourself. I mean, that's a possibility, right? So you would want to write down these things and step by step, each one, work on them, complete some of those things. Because, you know, whenever you complete a goal, I mean, that thing makes you feel so good. So, like, I remember when um, I wanted to go back to school and get my master's degree. And I didn't feel so good about myself until I went back. You know, I just didn't, you know, family, friends, everybody was proud of me, you know, at the time, woo, you graduated from college, woo, you know, but for me, it, was, it wasn't enough, I wanted to keep going, you know, and that was going to help me build my confidence, so I, I did that for me, you know, and then when I did it, I ain't going to lie, that wasn't good enough, I wanted to keep going, but you know what, I decided to travel instead because I did, I, I had gone back, you know, into a PhD program, but I wanted to travel. Maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day. But for now, for now, I'm, a, I'm, I'm all right. I can't imagine myself sitting up in a classroom right about now. All right, leave that for the young folks. You know. Okay, so. Work on some things that help you to build that confidence. And then you start to feel better and better about yourself, you know, um, no matter what it is. Now, here's the other thing. Don't let anybody come in and try to make you feel bad about what it is you're doing. I'm going to use an example. Sometimes I found that you know, women, you know, women can be, whew, women can be cruel. You know, they be talking about each other and just biting your back out and things like, not everybody, but there are a lot of women that do that, you know, and they come up with their own standards of beauty. So what they'll do is like take a take a, 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 a thin sister, okay? Somebody, you know, small frame or whatever. She may look over at a larger sister, you know, thick, you know, robust, got the pal and the blow, and look at her and and think that she's not good enough to feel confident in herself. Girl, with your string being self, if you don't go sit down. If you don't go sit down, because everybody should have their own standard of beauty. Please don't wait for somebody else. I'm always fussing. I guess when I, I get older and older, I'm always fussing. Oh, well, that's a part of me. So what I was going to say is, don't wait for somebody else to give you a standard of beauty. You have your own standard of beauty. And if your standard of beauty is to be pow, blow, bam everywhere. Girl, you better go on and do your thing. You know, I think I can talk because I've been all kinds of sizes through the years. I mean, I've been pow, blam, and I've been down to size two. I've seen, I've seen all the sizes. Not all of them, but most of them. Maybe I'll do a slideshow way down the road and look at the history of the physique. You know, so I, I got room to talk. I can talk because I, I didn't see, I didn't see many of the sides. Yep. 
But um, yeah, don't let anybody tell you what you can do, what what you should do, and uh, make you try to make you feel bad about yourself. You better look. At the end of the day, you are with you every single day. So you better feel good. You better look in that mirror and feel good about yourself. And if you don't, because I can't say that I always look in the mirror and feel good about myself. I don't. I look in the mirror and I'm like, girl, ooh, you better do something. And so I work on that thing, you know? So just work, work on it, work on it, and build, build that confidence. All right. So I'm gonna take one more swig, and you ponder that thing. Not that I was so, uh, you know, abstract and extraordinary with what I said, but don't let anybody tell you what you should do and what you can't do and what you, you know. Everybody has their own standard of beauty. Don't be waiting on Molly and Buffy and Marianne and Lou Bell and Shaniqua and and who else? Brenda. And don't wait for them to come out with whatever they got going on to tell you how you should be looking. Because quite frankly, um, I don't have an interest in looking like... um. What's that girl? Oh, man, I can't remember anybody's name. Mm. I'll never remember. But, you know, the look, I'll just describe the look. I, I don't have an interest in the super blonde hair, you know, and the, the, the small, small. Now, I ain't going to knock the sisters with the small, small waist and the big, 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 big. I don't have an interest in that. I don't have an interest in looking like, like that. That's good for these ladies over here and their standards of, of beauty. But for me, I just want to slim down a little bit. You know, I could stand, I'd be, I'd be happy if I lost about 10 pounds. I'd be content, you know. And I'm going to lose them things too. You know, and I feel, I feel more confident in myself. But over the years, I've done things, I've worked out, I've done different things to try to help build my confidence. And I just, you know, I just, I'm concerned about other ladies. I just want us all to feel confident about ourselves. All right? So, I don't want to repeat myself. It's been real. I shall talk to you soon. You be good.